Hi, this is LJ Bothell, and this will be a short video on Microsoft OneNote. OneNote is a really great uh, note-taking, information organizing tool that works really well with uh, Outlook, uh, with OneDrive, and with information you can get from pretty much anywhere. So rather than just talk about it, let me show you how it works. Now the great news is, is if you've got um, Microsoft Office 2010, 12, uh, 13, or 16 at home, OneNote came with it. Now of course for our Outlook class, um, we're required to be using Outlook 2016 local. So if you have got that at home and you uh, installed Microsoft Office 2016, um, OneNote note will be part of that and so I have one note down here in my little quick area um, but you can also of course go find it in your start whether you've got Windows 7 8 10 etc I'm just going to open it up one note 2016 now essentially what this is is a, a electronic notebooking tool that is really fantastic I don't have any open now but I will tell you I've been using one for the past year on my master's work and I've used a couple of others to organize projects and I've taught this um, to faculty members at Seattle Central the idea is that you can grab information and and do an entire project in here you could organize your quarterly classes in here by having a section for each class and then pages within each class for things like your, your notes, images you want to use, assignments, um, links to resources, all sorts of stuff. So right now I don't have any open notebooks and this should happen when you first try this. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to add a notebook. It's basically a new notebook. And um, yes, I'm going to say yes, I want a new one. Ah. And basically what I need to do when I'm going to make a new notebook is I need to tell the program where I want this to be. Right now I click this PC, so this will basically go to this PC and save it in a generalized location. I like to actually create something somewhere where I know I can find it. So right now I'm going to go to Browse, and right now we've got My Documents OneNote Notebooks. Uh, you do not want to make a habit of saving things in your favorites or your libraries. What you want to do is have wherever you organize your work on your computer. And right now I'm just going to go ahead and save it here in AA Lisa. That's my first name. And I'm going to call this um, Example Notebook and try to spell it correctly. Great. And now I have an example notebook. And this is what the user interface looks like. Now, I've been using it before, so I've actually done a whole bunch of personalizing of OneNote to make sure that my little toolbar up here has got all sorts of goodies for me to use. And um, right now, my main menu area is collapsed so that I am not seeing the different tabs and commands. So let me show this. OneNote works very much in terms of the user interface like Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, etc. You have your main menu items including the file. File is essentially the backstage area where you can create new notebooks, open other existing ones, print stuff, share your notebook, export information, send it somewhere. Um, you can do some personalized options here. I'm not going to get into all of that. Well, actually, let's go right here. So the, the personalized options here, including, you know, include general um, defaults. My default font choice at this point was Calibri 11 point. If I want to create new notebooks like this one, I'm going to go ahead and, and choose actually a favorite font, which is called Corbell. Where is it? Corbell. And I'd like to be able to read what I'm doing, so I'm going to make it 12 points. And then um, office background is stars. I don't actually see anything back there. I'm going to leave it alone. So you, you can go through this on your own with any of your programs to set things the way you like them. Proofing in here, I like to never check spelling as I type. The idea of a notebook is to collect info and I think of it as like um, brainstorming. Spelling doesn't count. You're trying to get your ideas and your content in there and then you can organize it and send it off to people by emails or print it out as you need to. But you can check uh, grammar while you're spelling, that sort of thing. Um, save and backup, you can set this. Um, to your liking. The thing that I like was um, the quick access toolbar and as you've noticed I've got a whole bunch of things that I have 
drawn from popular and other specific commands in OneNote that I use fairly frequently so that I don't have to have the ribbon open. That's why this looks this way. I mean, you can set options at your own um, will. The way the notebook works is it starts with a basic page and a basic section. The section is simply called New Section and it's not named. So I'm going to call this, um, I'm going to make this a three section notebook. I will make it a notebook for a project and then for communications and then for notes. So we'll go here and start with project. There we go. This, this particular section is called project. Think of a loose leaf notebook where you have those tab dividers. This is one of those tab dividers and then the various pages in here will be things that go into in between the different tab dividers except it's all electronic. So say the first enti untitled page might be specifications. I can double click this but really what's happening is I need to be up here giving the page a name. So I'm going to call this overview. This would be the overview of the project, whatever it is. And notice how that gives me the overview name here. And this is giving me a date and time of when this was created. Now down here I can start typing random information Now, this is giving me some typing area, and I can hover over here and drag this and make it a little wider. I can come over here and I can move this. So there's a little bit more room. So this is an overview. Now, I'm not sure what the project actually is yet. I'm just making pages at this point. But I can come here and add a page. And underneath overview, I might go in here and say that I need to know what the final goal is. Are. And then down here, final goals, goals information. And then I'll just do one more page here. I'm going to add one more page and I'm just going to call it timeline. And the timeline could be, you know, what, what needs to be accomplished when. So here we are, timeline. And then I hit enter. And I'm just making again a note for myself, etc. Now, what did I say? I wanted communications. So I'm going to call this communications. And this will be where I have web info. And then I might have email info. I'm making a new page here. Emails. And then I might have, uh, oh, I'm not sure what else. But the, the third one I'm going to make, what did I say, notes? Instead, I'm just going to put graphics just for kicks here. Graphics. This is something I want to have where I, I'm collecting graphics I might want to use for the project. So I might say the, the main one will be photos. I can instead of you know having to keep moving that around, I can copy and then paste, and then I could call this um, illustrations. You know, so this is the sort of thing you could do. It's really cool. And then you could let's look at some of the things you can actually put in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the web and I am going to take a look at Google, one of my favorite places. And of course, let's see my project. What should it be? It should be something to do with coffee. So I'm going to go ahead and look up Starbucks mochas. That's my favorite thing in the world. I should do something practical like traveling. So yeah, okay, let's take a look at that. So say the project project is um, about an overview. It's uh, this project is planning a three. Travel trip for instructors. 
<laughs> and uh, eight students. See? So this is what I'm thinking here. So I have an overview of it. Final goals would include uh, ticketing, itinerary, uh, goals of each uh, place. This, I'm just you know totally going off the top of my head here. Whoops, what did I do, Stu? I just overtyped something. So final goals information. So I itinerary um, ticketing. You know, let's say travel info travel itinerary. Oh, we already got that travel travel. Uh, guidelines. So travel info would be like where we're going to travel and what we're going to see. Travel guidelines would be what you need to know about the different places you're going. And then the timeline would be, okay, so the timeline of project parts and then I might also go down here and do timeline of itinerary so I could think about this in advance. Now the cool thing here is I can go in and I can use styles to, you know, organize these so they look a little bit nicer. And then so timeline of project parts would be uh, choose a country, choose four cities, choose an airline, you know, um, uh, get students, sign ups. So yeah, I'm just thinking on the fly here. And then the timeline of the itinerary itself. Let's go down here. And this would be things like start date uh, first city, second city, third city, fourth city and then return home. So you know I'm just sort of doing this just this this quick and dirty planning here. And that's just doing basic typing. Now communications is like hi Gail, I need some information from you. And I could plan my emails here and then actually you know grab this content and send it in an email. So let's take a look here. Email. So email page. Uh, so once I fill this out, I could actually email the page. And this would be assuming, here I am, I've got Outlook, so I would have to put in Gail's email address, CC anyone, and then any content that I might have put in here, which might include some images and comparison of tickets or something like that, I can actually email right from, out, uh, from, from OneDrive. I'm not actually going to save that. So that's something you can do there. Now graphics. This is why I want to go over here to Starbucks mochas and images. So what I want to do is, I need an iced mocha right now really badly. I'm going to grab this. I want to copy this image. I want to come back over here. I want to paste it in. There it is. Hello, my lovely. Now, let's see here. I am wondering, I'm going to see if I can get an animated GIF in here. I haven't actually tried it in uh, one, uh, uh, OneNote. Let's take a look here for animated GIFs. So I want, let's see, what's this one doing? Giffy. Okay, I want Giffy, so... Um, mm -hmm. Here we go. There it is. So what I'm wondering, I'm going to give this a shot here just to see what happens. I don't know if this is going to work. Can I drag that? No. Could I copy that? Could I paste it? Now what it's going to do is it's just going to give me the placeholder. It's not going to play the actual animation. Bummer. But hey, still it was worth a try to see what happened. Um, but you can actually grab sound bites from different things. So if you're, uh, you can get links from different pages. So let's, let's take a look over here. Where am I? Where am I? Oh. Oh, I closed it somehow. Okay. So say we want to go on a trip to Italy. 
Okay, Italy cities. So I'm going to come here and first off, list of cities in Italy, and I want to. Hello, where's the text here? So I could actually just come right here and take a screenshot. So I'm going to take my screenshot and then I'm going to come over here to my one. And then we'll go back to project and I'm going to grab down here and I'm going to paste and there's my screenshot. I can come back over here, click this, grab this link because Milan is one of the big places and let's say Milan and then one of the links I like to do this. I'm going to paste that and then I can come back over here. Sorry, I'm getting all messed up here. Um, Milan by train. London to Milan by train. Oh, that would take forever. Ah, Milan Central Train Station. So I might come here, go to Rail Europe, grab this and paste it. So the idea here is that you can use all sorts of different things. And what you want to do when we start playing with this is you're going to want to try all sorts of stuff. Now one note has also the ability to insert stuff. So you could actually insert a spreadsheet from somewhere else. So say I actually did a comparison of 10 cities by price and they decided I wanted to insert that here so that I could then email that to Gail. I could do that but meanwhile it would be all compiled in this lovely project work. I I can get pictures from my computer, online um, pictures from Bing. I can look for online videos and get those in there. I can get links. I can actually record audio here. I'm not going to do it. I can add dates and times and so on. But the cool thing about this tool, oh, and then draw. Draw might be, it's like, okay, yeah, I really want to make sure that we're going to go to Milan, so I'm going to draw something there. I could change the color and thickness and stuff like that. I'm going to go back to type again. I could take a look at a history of, of page versions, especially if I deleted some stuff and then I want to see what happens. I could delete a page, but the notebook will actually have its own recycle bin to save that information. And then I can review stuff by checking spelling using the thesaurus and so on. So the idea here is this, and then the, oh, the other interesting thing is the notebook saves as you go. I tend to have the habit of doing control S all the time, but the thing is the notebook works kind of like Microsoft um, uh, Access database program. It sort of live saves as you work. So the neat thing is that when you're done with it, you basically can just close the program. I'm going to close that and then I'm going to go down here and usually what will happen is we'll open up where you were most recently and if worse comes to worse and it doesn't you can go over here and you can look at however many um, notebooks that you have um, and open another one instead. So anyway, I hope that this gave you, gave you a, a basic overview of the kinds of things you can do with this tool. There will be other resource links and I think a couple of tutorials you can look at. And then we'll be um, doing a neat little project um, for our final um, assignment in this class using OneDrive and OneNote and Outlook and learning how to kind of combine the three together so that you could use it for planning a basic project. Um, which will be kind of fun. Anyway, um, thank you very much and have a great rest of your day.